My name's Juanita, um, I'm Samoan and I'm 28 years old and I was born and raised in Auckland. I don't think we really got taught how to negotiate or what you should say or what you should do but I think in terms of hearing my dad um, talk with my mum and with us about negotiating different deals that he's had with property and um, the sale of his hotel, like I think all that sort of contributed to I guess how I would think that I should negotiate um, when it comes to my role and pay and all that sort of thing. Because we're sort of, we care for other people and we'll put other people first. We're nurturing and that sort of thing. And then to sort of flip that and be more assertive and say this is what I want and try and negotiate your way, um, especially when it comes to money. I think it's that social cost of how am I going to be looked at after this? Like, are they going to look at me a little bit differently now? With the performance review that I had after a year, I decided that, you know, I think I am not so much due, but I think that I can discuss with my boss about remuneration increase. I kind of do keep track of what I've done. Look, I've done this, um, and also not only has my role increased, but I've got a few more different responsibilities that I didn't have when I started. So yeah, I did kind of go in there with, I'm awesome, like this is why you should give me <laughs> such and such. If we were to sit down and just assess our worth and our skill within the workplace and then if we can tick all the boxes and we can say like yep yeah, I'm doing my job right I'm meeting my targets then you know within yourself like you are doing a good job and you are worth what you're going to be asking for. I think my advice would be to first do your research. You never really want to go into a meeting or into negotiating something without understanding um, yourself or your workplace or even further um, the, the market and your industry. And then I think after that, um, also looking at other organisations within your industry and similar roles and what's the pay scale like there? Is it a lot less than what you're getting? Is it a lot, a lot more? So I think just really doing your research and knowing where you sit within your organisation and what other roles are within your industry and what the pay scale is like there. And then after that, I guess just having the confidence and knowing that you know, you're doing a good job, you're there for a reason and they've kept you there for a reason. So having the confidence to be able to go to your employer, your boss um, and saying, look, I've been able to achieve all these things and I would like some sort of increase. <laughs> so even though negotiating your pay can be scary, especially if it's for the first time, I think as long as you're prepared and you know your worth within the organisation, there's no reason why you can't do it.